My name is Hugh Evans and I'm the CEO of the Global Poverty Project. The first advice I'd give to any young woman who's passionate about these issues is that there are amazing women in development who serve as incredible role models. Uh, a young woman by the name of Jessica Jackley founded Kiva.org and she I've uh, met her a number of times and she's now working on a number of other social um, entrepreneurial ideas and she you know, developed this passion at a very young age through working in the field and was inspired by women's entrepreneurship and founded Kiva. Um, but even historically, if you think about Mother Teresa, she was only 12 years old when she decided she wanted to commit her life to these issues and it wasn't until the age of 18 she went off to Calcutta in India and really got her hands dirty. But this was young people starting at a young age, developing their ideas. Um, and I think that, you know, even, even the, the likes of Carol Bellamy, um, the likes of people um, like, uh, you know, the head of the United Nations Foundation, Kathy Kelvin, these are all great women who have dedicated their lives to issues of poverty alleviation, promoting the Millennium Development Goals and ending extreme poverty. So the role models are out there, but then we've got to get practical. How do you start? And I would, my advice would be to anyone that you have to start, um, not necessarily, it all depends. If you have developed a career in parallel already, then you might have the opportunity to step into a development agency at a senior level, but most people haven't. And so my encouragement would be to start volunteering and start volunteering in the areas that you're passionate about and try a few different areas because you'll start to gain great understanding. Are you passionate about maternal mortality? Are you passionate about Child's, child rights, are you passionate about water security, you're passionate about microfinance. The issue, plethora of issues of global poverty are really diverse. They encompass all of the eight UN Millennium Development Goals, food security, and the empowerment of women, child mortality, child rights, you know, water and development, um, or the structural issues of aid and trade and, and, and more of the economic angles. All of these issues are relevant to people on an everyday level and so start volunteering and then through that volunteering experience gain, um, really be very committed to it and, and gain I think a, a, a sense of um, commitment to how you believe change occurs in the world. I obviously have a very strong opinion on how change occurs but it's important for you to grapple not just with what your profession is but a much more profound question is, is how does change occur and how does your profession impact on how change occurs? Because if you're constantly volunteering with an organization and you really don't believe that they're effectively creating change, then you should leave. Like, you need to focus on organizations that are extremely effective in, in creating change in the, in the way in which you believe change occurs. And so that's a far more profound question I'd encourage any person who's starting out in this industry to grapple with and use volunteering as the inroad to achieve that.